Anguka nayo right there by Jabi D Timeless Noel uh, Didi Man and Moji Short Baba uh, getting us to 18 minutes to the top of the hour this is Hope FM we listen and live and this is Saturday Vibes with your guy in the building Kamakal David King time now for our devotion and our devotion unajua vile inaitwa King's Parchment on Saturday Vibes Vibes listen and live Yes, indeed, it's time for King's Parchment, where we get to listen to the Word of God and uh, we get built up by the Word of God, all right? Today, I want to talk about uh, there is forgiveness. I want to encourage each and every one of us that there is forgiveness. In my investigations, my Kidogo investigations, and uh, talking to many young people, and you may find that there are two categories of people, but let me first read the scripture, and then I'll be getting to that. First John chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. First John chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. In Asema, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Verse 10, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. This is First John chapter 1 from verse 8 all the way to verse 10. All right. Now, Today I want us to talk about that there is forgiveness. I say that from my Kidogo investigations and uh, working with people and uh, talking to various young people, you may come to understand that we have two categories of people. Okay, there, are, there could be many, but for the context here, this uh, scripture that we are looking into, there are two categories of people. Now, number one, kuna wale watu ambao, uh, they feel that they are okay. Right? They are believers, waliokoka at some point as a young person. Umeokoka, umeokoka ukiwa CU, enda, uka learn the scriptures, na ukaoneshwa the way of faith, and you are following it. Right? So you believe that all is well with you. And it is, and it should be, because you are now a member of the household of faith. You belong to the family of Christ. Okay? But then you find that, once they get into trouble, I remember there was a time we were looking at what grace does. Uh, Titus chapter 2 verse 11, we were discussing what grace does and we found that grace teaches us to say no to all form of ungodliness. But now I say that kuna another false grace, when I eat a hyper grace teaching that has come in and in a kusho, you are good, you are good to go. You don't really need to, you know, have a righteous living. Haufai kuishi poa, haufai kuishi in holiness because you're okay, ulisamehewa. Now that category of people, the first category of people, I'm talking about now when they say they have no sin and scripture is telling you what they are doing if you say you have no sin you're deceiving yourself and the truth is not in you so we begin with that category of people when you want to okay ah, niliokoka some two years ago but i live the way i want i can do what i want so i'm okay i'm here i'm going to have i'm waiting for jesus if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us okay Number two, scripture in Asema, if we confess our sins, verse 9 of 1 John chapter 1, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, in a tuonesha that the other category of people that I want to talk about, ni wale wanaona, okay, Devi mi ni mechoma big time, uh, I'm in a lot of trouble, so, si juvile ntajitua kwa inoma. But scripture has a remedy for that. In kuambia, if you confess your sin, Christ is faithful and just, to forgive your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That is to mean there is forgiveness for you. There is forgiveness for ule ambaye anona ah mi niko saa devi nangojia yesu wakam ah mambo yangu yuko fiti ni kuna siku moja nilimekio prayer na nika wakoka so I'm okay. Alright? Kuna yu kategori ya watu. Scripture imesema if you say that you have no sin you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you. The second category of young people when you may experience ni kitembea now, ni mechekini wale wa sasa wanaona, ae, Devi hata staki kumekio prayer at all, because, ae, <laughs> Buddha, ukijua vitu, tume, vitu ni medu, ni ningori, ni tricky, right? But scripture ina kuambia, uki confess that sin, uh, Romans ina tuambia, chapter 10, that with the heart man believes unto, unto actually righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Lakini yeye hizi happen bila we ku confess scripture is saying confess your sins he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all all uh, i love scripture mimi sikuwa well, okay stay kuchoma sikuwa poa sana math na 
kemia ama ukipenda chemistry lakini Mungu alinisaidia nikapita baadaye but when you look at grammar in scripture when the bible says all it literally means all uh, the holy spirit does not mean his words wakati anat communicate some things to us through the word of god akisema uh, in everything give thanks ni everything like wewe kama uko kwa shida ama uko kwa poa ijalishi uh, wewe ni everything ni everything so scripture here is telling us he is able to cleanse you from all unrighteousness wewe hata ile maybe unanisikiza na unasema devi bana hata niliua mtu tu jana wewe unijui eh hey, mimi mimi ngori hata nime nime nimetoka saa hii tu kukimbizana na masanse mahali na kuelewa lakini scripture inasema he is able to cleanse you from all and righteousness and then verse 10 if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and the word is not in us remember scripture also tells us that uh, let god be true and every man a liar so ile time wewe unasema wewe una dhambi imagine bible inasema you are making god a liar e uko na nguvu bana hata wewe unaweza kuumejaribu sana if you are making god a liar now i want to speak to this two categories of people the first one ule mwenye anasema ah mimi naweza ishi vile najisikia devi we kwani wewe unasema you have no sin and when you say you have no sin you deceive yourself kuna kitu mbaya kama kujidanganya hata yeye unaweza danganya watu lakini wakati wewe ndio unajidanganya you are in trouble you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you the second category of people ni mwenye ana i'm very far off david si juvile anaweza ku restored vitu ninafanya vitu nimefanya they are actually very 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 bad very evil very wicked scripture nayo inatuambia wewe uki confess your sin He is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And in that second category of people, kuna ule mwenye aliokoka alafu akafall away. Uka you, you backslid. And uh, when you are hearing me talking about kukuwa restored uko like, hey, is it really ni kitu inawezekana kweli?" It is indeed. Scripture imesema he is able to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So if you're out there, you're listening to me, you belong to any of these categories of people, Kindly say this prayer after me and then uh, utakuwa restored na utakuwa forgiven there is forgiveness for you my brother and my sister and for me okay so say this prayer after me and then utanitumia your details to 0717400555 that's on whatsapp ama we send peer to 20933 okay say this prayer after me so my heavenly father this afternoon i accept that i am a sinner in need of your saving grace I confess all my sins. I ask that you forgive me, that you cleanse me from all unrighteousness with the blood of Jesus. I declare from today that I am born again and I ask that heavenly Father you fill me with your holy spirit and enable me to live a victorious life. I declare I'm born again in Jesus name. Amen and amen. And amen. If you made that prayer, kindly send your details to 0717400555. Ah, uh, that's my WhatsApp line. Uh, I'm at 20933 is the text line and I'll be hooking you up with a team of people that can help you walk this journey of faith and I believe that you'll be victorious and you'll experience and enjoy a glorious destiny. Okay? That is our devotion for today uh, on a Saturday vibes devotion in Aitwa Ivi. King's Parchment on Saturday vibes vibes. Listen and live. I'll be back to wind up the show. May God bless you. Listen, Listen and live on 93.3 FM in Nairobi, 93.9 Western Kenya and 101.9 Mombasa. Mombasa.